Well, howdy do. <laughs> It's still Christmas, man. So, here's what I've done. Um, well, I grew up Irish Catholic, so it's just not Christmas unless somebody passes out or insults somebody. So, <laughs> keeping that in mind, I've added a third bourbon to the mix. Got these two for for Christmas. The Woodford Reserve Distiller Select um, 90.4 proof, and then the Russell's Reserve from Austin Nichols, small batch, single barrel, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 110 proof. But, back at the end of September, uh, when my, over my wife and myself anniversary, uh, I had picked up this in Little Rock, the Rocktown, Arkansas bourbon whiskey. It is, uh, can't read that there. It's 46%, so it's 92 proof. So a little more proof than the uh, Woodford Reserve, but not much. It runs about 35 a bottle. So I've got some poured into the Rocktown nosing glass. It's kind of curious to, uh, since uh, the proofs are very similar, how it compared to the Woodford. Uh, just off the top of my head here, of course, I do have water in this, so I don't have any in this one yet, so I'm going to have to put just a touch of water in to be completely accurate. But I'm not feeling as much sweetness on the nose here. I'm feeling much more oak. Let's compare colors, shall we? Colors are very similar. Actually, the, the Rock Town looks a little darker, a little more ruby to the hue on the Rock Town. So let me add that little bit of water to the rock town and see if we get any changes. That's the splash! Yeah, that does open up some <laughs> that does open up some aromas, man. Uh yeah, I get uh, I get bourbon aromas. This isn't anything new under the sun here. I'm getting much of the same that I was with these others. It's not about specific aromas. It's about the degrees. And that's what usually makes the bourbons different is you get different degrees of various aromas and flavors and all of them. This one I'm getting much more oak than I was on the Woodford, even, even now that I've added the water. I think I've got a burp here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, um, finish is beautiful. I guess I certainly get I get I get oak, I get vanilla, I get some dark fruit as well uh, on this one. Um, let me drink the Woodford now, kind of compare. The texture may be a little smoother on the Woodford. I don't know how. Neither one of them give me age, so I don't know how old either whiskey is. But I do feel the flavors are a little bolder without being harsh on the Rock Town. And then adding the Russell's Reserve to the mix. Well, it's just a beast unto itself, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I have already explained in another video, I started out in a, a bourbon drinker, became an Irish drinker, uh, dabbled in some scotch, uh, found I preferred Irish, but I've really discovered the bourbons uh, over the last half dozen years or so, and a lot of that's because I like the boldness of the bourbon. Bourbon, to me, is the boldest of the whiskeys. May not be the smoothest. It may not be the most accessible, but it yeah may not be the smoothest or the most accessible. But it is the boldest, in my opinion. And I think that's why a lot of people are discovering small batch and craft distilled bourbons because uh, a lot of people like me are discovering they like those big bold, in-your-face, smack-you-around, you know, uh, flavors. I mean, bourbon is America, man. It is everything about America. That's what Americans are. We're big, bold. We like to do things a little bit different. Uh, you know, we have some traditions, but we like to make our own. And that's kind of what bourbon does. So, uh, Merry Christmas to y'all. I've got three great bourbons here. All three 
for me anyway, are a buy again. If you're ever in the Little Rock area, these Rocktown spirits are absolutely amazing.